hello friends welcome back so let's continue our work so here you can see we have item name and i have added few products when i was off screen and uh, here instead of displaying the first product samsung galaxy s8 i want to show choose product and then we will work on our total quantity how we can get the quantity and how we can get the total price of the quantity and and so many things so let's start so this is our process.php page you can see here and uh, in the last video we have added our tr where i have given the total quantity quantity price and i'm going to add one more td that's uh, to get the name of the product because here i'm getting id of the product not the name of the product and it will be hidden right so here i will write pro name so that's represent product name and it is also an array type will be hidden and we don't require it only because we cannot see it right and i'm going to put a class here and here also so first i will write here a class why i'm writing class why not id because we cannot have id more than one but we can have more than one class with the same name right so this is the uh, amount class and i have given class because uh, we can we can have more than one class with the same name but we cannot have id with the same name and here i'm going to write also the class name pro underscore name so this is a product name and here it is uh, what it it is price so this is another class price and then we have a class qty and then we need another class tqty and for product option also so here is option and class form control and after that i'm going to add a class which is eid and everything depends upon this class pid right so let's save it and in our uh, order.js file here i will so i have given right now id that is pid so this is our class pid but i cannot take it directly because it is from php so here I will write uh, so everything is going on within invoice item class. So I'm targeting invoice item dot delegate and name of the class is PID. And it will happen if uh, so. I want to say I want to say when whenever someone changes the product name, for example, Photoshop CC or maybe the Samsung anything. So whenever it changes, I will get some uh, response from PHP script such as the price, total quantity, these things. And also add in process.php. So here is our forage loop, which is uh, looping within our product. And after before this, I'm adding a option. And uh, here, choose products. So from the list and value equals to empty so it's blank value refresh you can see we have choose product and then we can choose it now so this is our pid whenever someone changes the product name so the event is change write a function and in this so here we have dot pid so this is the current uh, class i'm cl uh, clicking on and so i need the value of that that's nothing but a select attribute of html so it has a value attribute value and i will store it in a variable where that's a pid and let's alert this value to see uh, to see it's working or not save refresh and let's change and you can see we have seven then we have uh, 11 so it's working now so let me explain you one thing so we have more than uh, so many products for example and uh, all the products have the same class uh, for example pid and uh, price and total quantity so how can i target the particular one for example this office 360 how can i target it has a um, class name tqty and uh, quantity qty and price price 
so and all the others also have the same class tqti tqty so the way i can target is so first of all this is the current uh, class i'm clicking dollar this and it is nothing but uh, uh, within uh, its input right and it has a parent that is td so it's parent and td has also a parent that is tr the current row that's it done and we, i can write here where tr equals to this one and now let's uh i'm using uh, here i can see a new order and i have given a overlay uh div class overlay so i there is just some delay in loading in live server so that's why i have given this we can show a delay effect so dollar dot sorry it's a dot overlay dot show and dollar dot zax has a url domain includes then process dot php and uh, method post data kit price and quantity kit price and quantity and id is nothing but PID then once it's success or I will get the response then console dot log then I will have data So this is the get price and quantity. Copy this, and in our order.js file or in our process.php file, here I can write get price and quantity of one item if set dollar underscore post price and quantity now create the object of manage class in equals to new manage object is ready dollar m for call the function get single record so it has an attribute you can see in manage class yeah that's here get single record so table name i need to pass and the primary key and id process.php so table name is products and primary key is pid and the id is dollar underscore post id so he, we have a row it's an array so i will store it in a result variable and uh, so it's an array I'm echo with a json underscore encode function dollar result save so order dot js sends a request then we will get the price quantity and everything over the one product refresh and open the console here is console and uh, when i select a product and you can see we have console pid 7 category id brand id product so i need uh, i don't need everything i need product price and product stock product price and stock right so i'm removing it and uh, so it's some data it's a json data i'm sending from php so mention here data type also otherwise it will not work json save it 
and uh, so finally the main role of tr is tr dot we have a function uh, in jquery called find and uh, then the, we need a uh, name of the class uh, we have given in inputs so that's a uh, dot dot t q t y first uh, t q t y so this is a total quantity dot uh, val value so this is the current raw and in the current raw i'm looking for the class t q t y with which value data place it product underscore stock no tr dot find we have a class uh, dot qty and i'm going to place a value that's uh, that is uh, zero initially i have quantity zero or one is good right work first uh, the quantity is one then uh, either we can increase or decrease it in tr dot find and then we have another uh, class uh, which is price dot price and place a value so data and uh, here i will write a uh, product underscore price what's wrong um, price and tr dot find then we have a class amount within a span tag don't forget about that dot html that's not an input that's an html attribute so html and here i will say tr dot find dot and uh, okay sorry it's find and dot qty this is a class qty and the value of the within the input is going to multiply with the okay price right so tr dot find dot and okay find dot price dot value okay so the we have a qty class from that we will take the input we will take the quantity of uh, or whatever the quantity first initially the quantity is one because we have given one here and then we will take it uh, the price the current price is what and i will multiply and put the data in span tag and one more thing i have given an input hidden tr uh, name of the product right so pro underscore name dot well and data product underscore name it is hidden so we can't see it from page so let's refresh it so you can see here we have choose product and once we choose photos of cc 2017 we have total quantity and the initial amount the quantity is one the price is multiplied with the 5000 and is one multiplied result is 5000 same way we can add more product and we have 55000 add iphone 8 add and you can see hp pavilion so it's working very well and we can remove also from there so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me how you are liking this video and how much it is helpful for you.